Hey, let's get rolling. Let's roll that ball. Let me switch uh, the camera. Roll the ball between the hands. And put the fingers together and press in and out, in and out, in and out. Let's do that about 10 times. And then take it in one hand and press and release, press and release. Do that five times in each hand. Other hand. Let's go back to the first and just press down as best you can with each finger against the thumb. You're not gonna make much of an impact, but it's good isometrics. You've been assessing where you are with your feet the whole time, I know. So let's put the ball down and press three times. And move up to the knuckles and press once. Going across. Roll it across the knuckles. And down each bone. And scribble. Three, two, one, pause, reassess how that foot feels. And move the ball to the other foot. Press down three times right in the middle. Move it up to the knuckles, press down once going across. Rotate on the heel. Send it down each of the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one. Kick that ball aside. And stand. And bring your heel forward and back, heel and back, heel, heel. We do 10 of these, we're up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now make a fist, bring your fist up to your chest and do 10 punches with each hand alternating. And now we're gonna do some butt kicks, just kick up toward your butt. Holding on to something if you need to, like a pole, back of a chair, side of a table, 
seven, nine, and 10. And now just punch as an uppercut coming across your body at a 45 degree angle. Let's shake a tree or shake the tree. The being the that was a pun. And go right into a marching in place or a jog. With 20 seconds left. I'm going to pick up the pace. I think I'll do some side jacks this morning. You can go a little bit faster or go all out with a sprint or join me in the jacks, do regular jacks, sit-ups, whatever you feel is right for you. Just be safe in five, four, <coughs> three, two, one, two. Oh, 18, 19, and 20. Two deep breaths. Put those hands together. Form a chi ball. Let it guide you around the room. Up and down, cross over, forwards and back, wherever it wants to go. And let's pause, center, two deep breaths. Twist at the waist and swing the arms. Gently tapping the back right above the hip as you come around. Light tap on your kidneys there. And pause, one deep breath. And we'll do some ocean wave breathing. <clears throat> Coming slightly forward as we inhale, exhaling on the way back. We show the length so height so we'll start coming down. And take a deep breath. A change at the waist, bend over, spread the legs apart, bit, bend a little bit more. 
walk your hands out to the floor and forward into a pike or a downward dog to hold this for about 10 seconds. And come down on your knees. And we'll do some cat cows. Back up, chin in, look forward, arch up, now, up, now. Down. Down. Go back on your haunches, child pose, with your hands out in front. Come back up on all fours. Take one hand and put the palm behind your head and look up. And then the other side. Come back down. Bring one foot forward with the sole on the floor and lean into the forward foot for a stretching the hip, flexors. Come back, bring the other foot forward. Stretch that hip flexor. Come back, put your other hand. Let's let me do it on the side. Um, inside both feet. And we're going to do the world's greatest stretch by lifting up. The one hand and looking up, if you want to progress it, come up on your toes. Come back down, switch feet, hand up, progress if you want. Back down. We're going to lie down on the, on the ground. Turn your head to one side. Bring your one foot over the other behind you. Come back. Go the other way. Come back, back on all fours, come back to a pike. Now, <clears throat> some of you may be able to do this more than others, but you want to fold one leg in front of the other in a pigeon as best you can and come down. as best you can, maybe up here. But the more you do it, the easier it'll get. Back into a pike, other foot. Come back up. 
plank, inch your way back up, hang, stretch in those hamstrings, and come up. All right, we should be stretched out pretty good, but let's grab that pole. And let's roll it out. And back. Flip flop. Rotate laterally. And the other direction. Punch it out. Yeah, put it behind your back and the crook of the elbows. Tuck in your chin and tuck back your chin. Rotate at the waist. Oh, extend backwards if you can do back extensions. Come back up. Bring the stick up to your shoulders, either in the crook of your elbows or holding on with your hands and rotate your torso, but leave your hips Facing forward in your head. Bring the stick up over your head and around and back and around. Let's put it in front of us and pick up one leg. By the toes, stretching the calf and the ankle. And then the other leg. And then step to the side, do a side lunge and stretch that adductor. Other leg. Come back up. We're going to put the stick in front. And come up on our toes for a second, roll back on our heels. Let's do 17. One, two, four. You can increase this by bending your knees slightly or a lot. 
seven, eight, nine, keep your back neutral low, 10, working on both the toes and the calves, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I think. Might have only been 16. All right, come forward. And we're just going to do three lunges up to the side. One, two, three, and then to the other side up. Perfect. Put the sticks down. I'm going to do the Zach Bush four minute workout again. Four elements to this the squat, the arm swing, uh, the big circle, and then over the uh, head or the military press. So, with the squat, again, do what's comfortable for you. Uh, it may be if you're having um, knee problems, you may just want to come up off the chair an inch or all the way and sit down. But if you can, go down as far as you can. It may be only that far or it may be all the way down. We're going to do 12. Do it relatively quick and even quicker on the second set. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, twelve. Stand up nice and straight. Raise the arms to just above the shoulder, one at a time. Four. Five. Eleven. Twelve. Did I do twelve spots or did I do ten? Put your fists together. Knock them together over your head. If this is too difficult, you can come up through the middle of your body. That's four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, hands out, military press. One, two, shoulders are back. Three, four, you'll be feeling it in your shoulders and your biceps, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, shake it out. Let's go right into the second set. 12 more um, squats, one, two, three, four, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, seven, and twelve. One, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve.
Hey, everybody's keeping up. That's great. So we're going to do one more. Let's do 12 squats. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, and 12. Back one, two. Ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and the military press. Last one. Eleven and twelve. So all the work we've done on these uh, shoulders in the last couple of days. Try something. Put one arm behind your back like so. Bring the other arm to try to touch it. See if you can't get closer than you were when we first started doing this a couple of weeks ago. See if you can uh, even if you can touch the fingers. And again. If you can't, no problem. Just get as close as you can. And if you want, you could take a rag or a towel, put it in one hand, grab it with the other, and pull. And then uh, reverse the positions on the hand. One side is usually um, better than the other. I find that to be the case. Just see if you see a little bit of improvement over uh, when we first did this a few weeks back. All right. You might want to use a stick to hold on to as we do some balance exercises. We're going to do 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, five times on each foot. You can loosely hold on to it. It's just there in case you need it, or if you don't need it, put it down, stand next to a wall or a chair or a table. This is five. Other foot. Whoa. Twelve. Nine. Six. Three. One more. Okay. Stand on your left foot. Your right foot is going to touch the number on the clock that I call out, such as 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 11, 10, 9, 3. One, two, six, seven, twelve, eleven, nine, six, twelve, two, one, four, four, four. Okay. Now on your right foot, same thing. Nine. Six, nine, three, twelve, eight, eleven, ten, one, two, twelve, six, five, 
12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 11, 12, 1, 2, 9, 6, and 12. Good. Shake it out. Relax. Center. To depress. Let's take our fingers and thumb, put it at the base of the spine, step out, and gather in starlight. We'll go three times around the crown. And center. Same thing on the other side. Coming down. And centering to deep breaths. Let us open our hearts. Pausing, inhaling, exhaling, and sending it out. Centering. And bringing down heavenly chi. And going down and gathering up every ounce of it. And I thank you for being here and gloriously exclaim, ah! <laughs> Oops. Thanks, yeah. Tom. Here we are. You're very welcome. Hey, Don, how are you? Hello. Okay. 
And uh, let's see, today is going to be a band's day. So for those of you who are able to and willing to stick around, grab your bands. Um, I would start, we're going to start with the legs today. So you might want to um, do one a green or a blue, perhaps even if you have one. I do, but I don't know where it is. Well, I do. There we go. Put it around your ankles, or um, if you find the ankle too difficult, you can put it up around the top of your knee. You might want to sit down to do that. Makes it easier. I'm going to switch cameras here. And angle it downwards. So we're going to start with some lateral walking. You want to hinge at the hip, bend your knees slightly. You're in an athletic stance. Step out and come across. Two. Five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to do more. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Usually we do twelve, right? So we did fifteen. Then let's put the band. Underneath the sole of one foot, keep it on the ankle of the other. And once you've got that, you're going to lift the knee of the one that the ankle is on. You might want to hold on to a stick, back of a chair, table for balance. Three, four. Eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great for the hips, the glutes. Switch the position. Get the other foot ready to go. And when you are ready, one, two, eight, Thirteen. Of course, only do as many as uh, you can do and keep good form. Fifteen. Get them both around your ankle again. We're going to do some more lateral. Fifteen more of those. Ready? Crouching. And go. I'm up to eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, one more time with the band underneath the sole of one foot around the ankle of the other. We're going to do twelve on this. I know you're. Feeling it. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Switch feet. And one. Seven, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. Excellent. All right, let's move to the upper body. You might want, if you're using a uh, blue band, you might want to go to a green or a yellow. I'm going to fix the angle there. And step back. Let's do some bow and arrows. Pull back one, two, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, other side. Fourteen, fifteen. Okay, great. Put the uh, band in the palm of your hand, put it above your chest. Other hand goes, palm goes in the bottom, and just pull down to exercise the tricep muscle in the back of the arm, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen, more, one more, one more, one more, okay, good. Switch hands, again in the uh, palm of the hand, and the top of the chest, and push away. Two, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, this is it. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's not it. <laughs> We're going to do some bow and arrows. We'll do 12. One, two, three, eleven, and 12. You should be feeling this in the shoulders and the biceps. One, two. Seven, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, final one. And one. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And the other way. And I'm realizing as I'm looking, 
when I talk about uh, yellow straps and green straps and blue straps, I'm mostly uh, talking about the perform better colors. And six other companies assign different resistances to different colors. Eleven. Twelve. Excellent. So, um, yeah. Hope all is well with everybody. Thank uh, you, Tom. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, welcome back. And hi, Diana. Thank you. Hi. Thank welcome, you, Diana. Tom. Great. Thank you, Tom. Okay, Linda, we'll talk soon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks, Tom. Vera, have a great day. Y'all, Eva. Take care, Tim. All right, Meme.